welcome back guys so this is question 36 and again we have to find the sum of product and product of some expressions uh, for the terms which are given here and that should be the standard sum of product and standard product of some expressions okay so the part b of our question is here and here uh, in order to find the sum of product expressions what we have to do we have to indicate the terms for which the output is one so these are here here and here okay so in order to find those terms here and writing the sum of products expressions what are those terms these are one zero one 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 zero okay and one 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 okay so in order to make the product out of this equal to one i have to complement it this one so therefore i will get here a b prime c okay for it what i have to do i have to make this complement so that the product of these three will be equal to one okay so therefore i will have the expression for it equal to a b c complement and here as already as these are already equal to one so therefore i will have these a b c okay at the end i have to add them and adding them i will get let me use this uh, blue color for it and i will get a b complement c plus a b c complement plus a b c so that is what that is the sum of products expression for my truth table which is in part b okay similarly for the product of some expressions what i will have to do i have to find the terms for which the output is zero so these are all these terms for which the output is zero so let me write them here so these terms are zero 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 one zero one zero and 0 1 1 and the last term is 1 0 0 okay in order to find the product of sum out of them i have to make the summation of these three equal to 0 so therefore this will be the 0 already okay for making the summation of these three equal to 0 i have to complement it so therefore i will get a plus b plus c complement and here this should be the complemented one so i will get a plus b complement plus c here these two should be complemented so a plus b complement plus c complement and here this first one a should be complemented so i will get here a complement plus b plus c okay so now let me multiply them together because these are the summations and i have to find the product of the summations form so therefore i have to multiply these products so let me use this blue color for it and i will get a plus b plus c okay the first term the second term is a plus b plus c complement the third term is a plus b complement plus c the fourth one is a plus b complement plus c complement okay and the last one let me multiply it here a complement plus b plus c so this is the last term and this is what this is the product of so that's it for the part b of our question and part c part d will remain the same and in order to find the product of sum what i have to do first of all i will have to find out the terms for which the output is one for all the sum of product and for the product of sum i have to find the terms for which the output is zero okay uh, i will solve them in our upcoming video till then practice over all the stuff which we have covered till now and i will see you with some more videos which will spread knowledge regarding the digital logic design and digital circuitry in our upcoming video till then take care of yourself and i will see you soon